Kia ora, what's up, what's going on, welcome to my channel. I'm going to show you how to set up the Zelda 64 recompiled for a dev activated Xbox Series S and X only. What this does, it enhances the Zelda Majora's Mask game from the Nintendo 64, so you must have the ROM. At this stage it doesn't run the Ocarina of Time as it is still being worked out, but this does really cool enhancements like widescreen, 120 FPS and so on. Let's get started. Head to the link in the description below, scroll down and download the Zelda 64 Recomp. Go to the Xbox Dev Portal, we're going to add, go to choose file, double click on what you've just downloaded. There are no dependencies, so click next and then start and wait for it to install. Boot up your Xbox in dev mode, go down to the Zelda 64 recompiled app, press the B button, scroll down, change it from an app to a game, and launch it. Now you want to select where your ROM is. I have mine on a USB device. If you're going to use a USB device of some sort, it needs to be formatted in NTFS, and it needs its permissions enabled. If you don't know how to do this, I have a video on it. So I'm going to insert my USB device, select its location in the games, Nintendo 64, and I'm going to look for the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask game or ROM. Again, this app will only run this game and not the Ocarina of Time. Once you click on the ROM, it'll go back to the main menu. It'll load it, and you can start the game. So the main screen is the enhanced version and the one in the picture in picture is the original 64 version. gameplay as you can see the filtering here is really really nice nice and smooth not grainy and rough like the original and here are the settings so you can go through the general where you can switch the targeting to hold or switch there's so many options here Next are the controls, you can set up the controls however you like, but it's best to leave it as it is because they've set it up just like the 64 version. And the graphics, this is the one you want to change, I've changed mine to auto. Down sampling, you can expand to full screen, change the frame rate, I'm going to do it manually because my screen is a 120.
adjust the sound as well. Also, there is a mod. So this just maps the controller to the original. You can turn it on or off. Well, that's it for this video. If you've learned something today, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.